and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to look at doing some React development with Browserify. So I've been using React for a few months now. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. I like it a lot. Uh, if you haven't checked out React, there's some really cool tutorials online. I'll, I'll link to those in the show notes. And uh, if you're not familiar with React, uh, I guess I'll just summarize by saying it's a tool, it's a library to help you um, write JavaScript code that works with the DOM and one of the cool things about it is it has a virtual DOM built into it and that uh, sort of speeds things up so you know if you're worried about performance uh, it takes care of all that for you it's gonna basically you just write code that uh, you write JavaScript code that has HTML right inside it which is kinda weird at first but it's uh, once you get used to that it makes everything just so much easier. You just change the HTML code or interact with it and the virtual DOM compares it to figure out what it needs to update in the most efficient way possible. Um, so that said, I'm, I'm just going to do a quick little demo today, try to write some React code, uh, get it working in a browser, and then I'm going to try using Browserify to you know, compile it and get that working. Now this is new for me just because until now I've been just doing um, React uh, without browser if I've been using Require.js so it's all been in the browser and so I'm just gonna struggle with this a bit to try to get it up and running so first thing I'm gonna do is I made a source directory I'm just gonna make an index.html I'm gonna make a, um, a widget I'm gonna just for demo purposes I'm gonna make some a click counter, not something you'd probably ever make in real life, but it's good enough for today. And let me open that up in Sublime. Okay, so if I open up my index.html, I'm gonna make that into an HTML5 document. I'll just call it React demo. Um, so if I was getting started, I might link to React JS CDN somewhere. Um, CDN JS is pretty good for this sort of thing. So let me just link in uh, minified React. Sure. So bear with me. And I'm also going to link in my click counter. So let's see if I can get this up and running pretty quickly. Uh, let me shrink that a bit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give a sort of main div. That's where I'm gonna render my click counter. I put that up there. Okay, and I'm just gonna go and click counter.js. I'm gonna make a simple React widget click counter. Okay, you'll see that uh, with the um, code that got created right away built into my editor sublime here with a react tool it's already in this browser five format which leads me to believe it's going to be probably pretty easy to get it working That's it. but normally what i do is i delete this extra stuff i'm going to be putting that back in a minute and uh, so the rest of this is basic react code so what's in front of you right now is react code that's just rendering a div nothing else happening Obviously, my click counter needs to do something a little bit more. So, how about I make those changes? So, I'm gonna have a div, and inside it, I'm gonna have the number of times that the uh, counter has been clicked. So, uh, I'll have it say, I'm gonna use state for this, um, num clicks, let's call it, and clicks. If you're new to React, this probably looks kind of weird to you, but just bear with me. So I need to define my initial state. Um, I believe it's get initial state function. And I'm going to return num clicks the first time it's zero. And if everything's working, I should be able to see this in the browser. I should be able to see it say zero clicks. So now's a good time to check on that. Uh, should be localhost react browser if I demo and under source and it doesn't work so let me just check why 
I think I know why. I think it's because uh, unexpected token bracket. I need to include in something else to get this working in the browser. And that's because I have HTML in my JavaScript. If this is new to you, it's probably very obvious that that's not going to work. And the reason is I need something called a JSX transformer that's going to make that possible to be pulled in. So here's the JSX transformer. I'm going to link that in as well. And as I mentioned, I've been doing this with uh, require.js, so the tool set's been a little different. So I'm not actually sure if this is going to work right out of the box. And let's see if it does. Nope, still doesn't. Maybe I need to rename my click counter JS to JSX, which is what I've had to do with require.js. Let's see. Change that here. Let's see if that makes the difference. Still doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'm not going to try to get that working right away because my whole demo here is just trying to get it working with Browserify. So I'm not going to bother trying to get it working uh, this way. Instead, I'm going to sort of scrap this strategy and let's just try to get it working with Browserify. Okay. So I need to install Browserify. I do have it installed, but I'm going to do a quick npm init and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I'm just going to burn through this and npm install browserify. So let me go back to my, while that's happening, let me go back to my click counter. I'm going to put back some of the code that was here at the start. Uh, require React. And what was the other thing? Do module.exports equals click counter. Okay, so, uh, oh, Browserify is already installed, so I was supposed to have to do this as administrator, so let me give that a try. Um, I'm going to save it as a dev dependency. Type in my password. Okay, so um, what's going to happen? I'm going to build it to a build folder, so let me create that folder. Build. And... In my index.html, I'm going to link in, uh, it's not there yet, but it'll be in build, and we'll call it, um, let's call it app.js. So I, I, I want to create this build app.js file using Browserify. So I'm going to pull in click counter, and I'm going to output build app.js. And... I guess I need actually one more thing because my click counter is there, but I'm not rendering it anywhere, and that's kind of important. So let me create another file that's going to actually do the rendering, and that'll be sort of my entry point for the app. So let's call it app.js. Actually, I should call it JSX. I'm going to rename that because I'm going to use uh, JSX, which is that. HTML in the JavaScript sort of thing. So I'm gonna first thing I'm gonna do is require and react. Require react. Second thing I'm gonna do is require in my click counter. Require click counter .js. I'll just leave that off. And what else? So I'm gonna call react dot render. I think it's render component. I'm going to render click counter to uh, document dot get element by ID main. That's really long. Let me split it up a bit for readability. So what this is going to do is render my click counter hopefully into the that div main. That's uh that's right here. So if everything works. And I don't think it's going to work right away, but once everything works, I should have my click counter show up inside main. So let's, uh, oh, there's one more thing I actually need to do. I need to install React. And I'm going to save that as a, not a dev dependency, but an actual dependency. I guess it's a dev dependency, but whatever. And let's see what happens when I run Browserify. I'm going to point it at app.js in my source, and I'm going to output it to 
build app.js. Oh, it's uh, JSX in the source. I don't think that'll work. And why don't I think it'll work? Because I haven't told it how to handle JSX. And I know that that's going to be an issue. So I need to solve that somehow. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Google a shot. Let's try uh, React uh, Browserify JSX and let's see what comes up. Reactify. So that makes sense. There's a tool out there that's gonna make this a little bit easier for me, and it has the kind of name I expect. Reactify. Uh, if you saw my other video, but Mochafy. That's a tool that makes uh, Mocha usable with Browserify. And everything looks pretty good. Oh, I just noticed they, uh, they use render instead of render component. Maybe I need to change that. And they use dash t reactify. Okay, that's cool. And let me give that a shot. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do is install reactify. It doesn't say to do this, but I assume that I will need to do that. Um, it does say to do it. So I'm going to do npm install reactify. npm install reactify. That's a dev dependency. Let's just give that a second. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to make that change to my code. They were just using the render method. So I'll give that a shot. I know React is changing their API a little bit every time they release a new version. So. Okay, so Reactify is there. Let me try doing what they said. So Browserify dash T Reactify source app.jsx and I'll put that to build .app build slash app.js. And it still doesn't work. Why not? It says, can I find module build app.js? Hmm. Well, that's so it's saying it can't find the destination. That's kind of weird. Maybe I should just, um, hmm, let's go back to the web page and see what it's actually trying to tell me to do here. So they're saying save the snippet as main.js and produce a bundle. So, oh, I know it's wrong. I didn't do dash o for output. So dash o. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Cannot find module, click counter. Do I need to do click counter.jsx? Eh, it's worth a try. So if I go into app.jsx, let me try require jsx. If I re retry that, is that better? Yeah, it seems to work. Okay, cool. So if I look in my app, I have a build. Sorry, if I look in build, I have app.js now. And it seems to have React code in it. So in my index, I'm already linking that in. Let's refresh my index page, see if that worked. Cool, it actually did work. So I have zero clicks, just like uh, I thought it would. Now, I haven't actually done my click counting. So if I click this, nothing is happening. So how about I just quickly uh, add that code to it? It's actually really easy. All I'm going to do is add an on click to this div and I'll wire that to another method that I'll write here on click and I'll just say this dot set state and I'm gonna set num clicks to this dot state dot num clicks plus one. So I'm gonna pull in whatever the current count is. I'm gonna add one to it and set that as the new state. And that's all it takes. So if I uh, not refresh it, but I need to run Browserify again. So if I run Browserify, creates a new app.js for me. If I now refresh the browser, there I go. I can click this and it's counting my clicks. So not too bad. Reactify turns out to be the solution. I wasn't expecting that, but that's cool. Uh, maybe there's a way to do it without Reactify, but I'm, I'm happy to use Reactify. It seems pretty straightforward. And uh, well, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.